It's your boy DTV is back with talk another video. I just had a an idea with the Baltimore and and the Julio situation and all that. We all know that Julio Jones and, and, the, and the Falcons are in a situation to where they basically have to give Julio Jones away because they have no way of signing anybody because of their cap situation. Their cap situation sucks. They have no money. So they have to pretty much give away Julio Jones because you know they have they have no money. So they have no leverage and any other team could, you know, come with a sixth round pick or a seventh and be like, well, we'll take them on, but all you want to get is a seventh round pick. And they're pretty much gonna have to do it because they have no leverage. But but what if Baltimore and the Falcons shake hands on, hey, we'll give you the first round pick. 27 and 31 for your third round pick and we'll take on Julio if you allow us to move all the way up to the fourth pick and then we take Kyle Pitts. That would be crazy. Think, I, it may seem far-fetched, but think about it. They have no leverage. If they give Julio... if they, this is their best bet. If they give Julio away, they're going to give him away for nothing. No no first round pick, no nothing. They're best going to give him away. And they're still just going to have their fourth pick. Well, they can pick uh, Pitts. Yeah, they can pick Pitts. But, I mean, they still don't have no room to really build. But what if Baltimore says, we will give you our 27th pick and our 31st pick and take on, if you if, if you allow us to take on Julio Jones and get your fourth pick, allowing us to move all the way up in the draft to the fourth pick. So essentially, we will be able to have Julio Jones and draft Kyle Pitts. We would have to, of course, give up both our first round picks. What do y'all think about that? If we were to go all in on Lamar Jackson, show our love for Lamar Jackson, say and say that we will give you both our first round picks so pretty much what we would be doing is getting Julio Jones and Kyle Pitts. And they would be getting both our first round 27th and 31st pick. What do y'all think about that? Would y'all would y'all like for that to happen? If Baltimore gave up both their first round picks for pretty much Julio and Kyle Pitts? That just popped in my head. Like that scenario is popped. That scenario could be something to, something thought about and i was and i was watching engraving Viz video on the falcons y'all subscribe to his channel if you haven't and that popped in my head it was like yo we actually have a way of probably moving up and getting kyle pitts if we agree with the falcons that we would take on julio jones contract and give you a first round pick something that nobody wasn't going to give you matter of fact we will give you two first round picks all you have to do is give us a first round pick in return. So pretty much, we all you're doing is giving us a first round pick, we're taking on Julio Jones' contract, and we're giving you two first round picks and taking you out of your debt. Pretty much giving you what no other team will even think about giving you. They're giving you two first. They won't even give you a six because they know you have to get rid of Julio. What do you guys think about that? That's pretty interesting. And I know all the time, you know, people are like, uh, some of the stuff I say seems far-fetched. But a lot of the times it happens. So, let me know if this far-fetched or let me know if this is a possibility. Let me say it again. Baltimore comes to agreement with the Falcons, handshake, handshake, that during the draft, we will give you our 27th pick and our 31st pick. And we will take on Julio Jones if you agree to let us move up to your fourth round pick. That is a way that we can get Julio Jones and Kyle Pitts on the Baltimore Ravens. It's your boy DTV. Now back with y'all with another video. Like and subscribe to my channel. I'm out.